if the power goes out for 12 hours, the last thing you're worried about is the internet. And the thing I, people, I think people don't understand is that the internet is how you get things working again. If you have communications, you can get everything else working that you need to work. Yeah. Well, this is made by a company called LilyGo. Uh, it's T-Deck, LilyGo T-Deck. Yeah, it's a, it's a very basic messaging app. It's like if, if BlackBerry had never been popular, it might have been because they made something of this quality in terms of usability. But that's not the point of it. The point of it is not usability. The point of it is standalone. I think we were relying on these to communicate and we'd practiced and we didn't just leave it until the last minute to try and test all these things, then I think it would be great. But I mean, no backup is any good unless you test it. Apparently the official emergency communications are not great when everything is working. <laughs> and they will definitely not be okay when the power is out for 12 hours. It's an interesting thing where we're, where it's starting grassroots and then the government and the nonprofits are following and supporting. I think what we're doing is having fun with something that might be part of a solution. And we're not talking about the average person being able to continue to use the internet for all their normal things. We're talking about the people who might need to try and fix the infrastructure, having a way to talk to each other. I think, you know, it's nice, the idea that you have some idea of what the limitations are. At the moment, we don't know. In theory, this would be a nice idea. But until we play with the network, until we play with devices, until we actually play with even some sort of almost urban games, can we organize to exchange messages and meet up in one of the Amsterdam parks and say what worked, what didn't work? I mean, those are the kinds of things we could do where we actually would know.